Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're all having a lovely day. So today I'd like to talk about a company called Filmora. Filmora abused the copyright system on YouTube to take down this gentleman's video. He talked about their video editing software in the past, and it seems like he was also sponsored by them in the past. This company sponsors a lot of YouTubers, I know, because even I've gotten emails in their inbox. So if, if they're offering to sponsor me, they've probably offered to sponsor everybody at one point in time. They have a video a piece of editing piece of software, and they changed the licensing terms for this. They used to have a lifetime license, and they changed it in a way that, in my opinion, was very deceptive to their audience. It was in, in a manner where they let people know that the terms changed, and he did a video discussing this. In the video that he did discussing this, he got a copyright strike for telling his viewers the truth about this piece of software, which is a really crappy thing to do. I'm not going to go into detail of what happened in his particular case. What I want to do is describe to you why I believe this company is a scamming, shitty, bottom-feeding company for completely unrelated reasons. This is something I wanted to talk about three years ago, and it was something I actually left a note in my ticketing system to talk about three years ago when they had emailed me, but I never got around to it. So late is better than never, so you people know to never spend money with this piece of shit company. So why do I think that they're pieces of shit, and what does this have to do with me? When you take a look at their website for their video creativity, software. It seemed familiar, but I couldn't really put my finger on why until I click utilities. That's where you can see that they have mobile phone device management and data recovery software. This is the software that they've tried to have me sponsor in the past, and it is advertised in a very deceptive way. Jessa Jones is my friend and colleague in this industry, and she has a company called iPad Rehab that does data recovery on iPhones. She is very, very frustrated by people that claim that they can recover the data from your phone that are only making it worse in exchange for money. One of the videos on my channel that I have to show you before I get into why this company is a scam is just showing you what it is we do. So for those of you who are just here for the one to share thing that don't really understand what I do, I repair liquid damage electronics on a regular basis, and I show people how. In this video that I did four years ago, I just wanted to demonstrate what happens on camera and I sped it up when you drop something like water or Coca-Cola or soda onto a motherboard. So this is the beginning of it and then when you get closer to the end it starts to look like a complete corroded pile of crap. And this is something that you're going to have to keep in mind for when you read what's on their website. Now, when you Google the term liquid damaged iPhone data recovery, they are the second option to show up. And I figured that's really weird. Why would this option show up? They create software. They don't do data recovery. They don't do liquid damage repair. So let's read their website. When you click on that link, it brings you to this. Water damaged iPhone data recovery, three ways. Usually when an iPhone is water damaged, you would take it to the repair shop. They would usually restore it to normal but not retrieve your lost data. Being calm and rational, the highest priority must be recovering your data. The good news in all of this is that you don't need to take valuable time to go to the repair shop. You can almost certainly achieve what you want without leaving home via Dr. Phone Data Recovery iOS. We are here to help. So what they're doing is they are telling people, use this software to recover data from your liquid damaged phone. So what's going to happen is you're going to pay 100 or 200 bucks for this garbage software. You're going to plug in your liquid damaged phone and two things are going to happen. A, you're going to waste 100 bucks because you're not recovering data from a liquid damaged phone using software. You are not fixing this level of corrosion using software. This is a hardware problem that they are telling you you will fix with a piece of software. The second thing that's going to happen is since you're now plugging your phone in, it's going to be made worse. So as you can see in this video, the corrosion is not really that bad in the beginning after just one or two minutes of being plugged in, but after nine or ten minutes of being plugged in, it looks considerably worse. So they are telling you fraudulently that their software will allow you to recover data from a phone that is liquid damaged. You don't need to go to the repair shop. You don't need to fix this corrosion. You can just magically recover it by using our software. They're advertising it in this way because they know that's going to get desperate people to purchase a piece of software that's not going to solve their problem. And by the time they've purchased the software, well, too late. Sucks to be you. You already gave them money. This is, in my opinion, a very, very scammy, shitty, underhanded, and garbage way to advertise your products and services. I do not advertise products and services that I am 100% sure are not going to work and fix a customer's problem, yet in this case, they are. There are countless phones that likely could have been recovered by myself, by Jessa Jones, by Jesse Cruz, Mark Schaefer, Tim Herman, everybody else, that are not able to be recovered as a result of the user plugging it in and continuing the corrosion. And they make no note of that on their website. When it comes to liquid damage, there's no note over here in this page that I can see where they're talking about you should bring it to a repair shop, or even if you can't bring it to a repair shop, you should take the board out, you should 
on desolder the shields, you should clean off the corrosion and then use our software. They just want you to think that their software is going to solve the problem 100%. You're going to plug your phone into your computer. It's going to get progressively worse. And then, well, again, sucks to be you. And here's the worst part of it. After you do that, not only may you not be able to get your phone's data back by using their shitty software, I may not be able to get it back either because you've made the corrosion that much worse by continuously plugging it in. And to be clear, this is not a plug saying that you have to use Jessa Jones or my service. I have many videos on my channel going over how it is you can open your device on your own, how to clean your device on your own. I even have a guide for it on repair.wiki for people who want to learn how to use ultrasonic cleaners and things like that properly. You're more than welcome to try to do this on your own. And you'd be way better off if they actually gave you an understanding of how liquid damage damages your product rather than telling you, give us $100 to fix a hardware fault. A capacitor that is shorted to ground, a ball under the CPU or some shit that's corroded, stuff like this is not going to be fixed by software. And they know that, but they don't care. They have cheated the system and they have cheated Google to get a search ranking for a page that gives you a solution that is not actually going to fix your problem and they don't care. This is something that they were doing for years before they ever copyright struck Daniel Batal for telling the truth about their garbage product. They have been scammers in this regard for a very long time before they ever changed the licensing of their product. And I don't suggest any of you ever give this company money because they falsely advertise their products and services in a manner that's going to cause people to permanently lose any chance they ever had of getting their data back just so that they can make a buck. When you look at the way this website is put together, this site is not put together in a manner where they're informing you of the serious risks involved and in plugging in a liquid damage device over and over and over again. They're not talking about corrosion. They're not showing you what it does. Give us money. Use our software. Pay for our software. And if it doesn't work, sucks to be you absolute shit garbage to your company and i genuinely hope that they go out of business that's it for today and as always i hope you learned something i'll see you all in the next video bye now